Hi, Femos here. I've been regularly seeing posts on Reddit about how people were failing a Colossal problem for almost at least one post every day. First, I want to point out what's the obvious reasons why people were failing. First reason is that there's no one with legacy. No, just kidding. So first reason is that there's lack of survivability. So people were just dying over and over again. And the worst one is that if everyone dies and then Earth regenerates back to the full health, that's the worst thing to be happened. And the second one, no one spec for DPS. Even if someone's supposed to be a DPS build, but they never actually validate their build, I will explain about that later. Now to fix the first problem, lack of survivability. There are only few things that can kill you while inside the mine. You know, the Earl himself, the Wendigos, the Falling Embers, and then the Drill. And there are some kind of like small radiation spot. You should just avoid that, easy. If you keep dying over and over again from the Wendigos, you can just equip Blocker rank 3. They shouldn't be able to one-shot you anymore. And if you keep dying from the Falling Embers, you can put Asbestos Lining on your torso if you don't use Power Armor. But if you use Power Armor, you can use Fireproof Perk. And it could be tricky for Power Armor user, especially if you're low health and you don't have any fire resistance. I suggest that you keep moving. You may also use Serendipity and Ricochet, but only use if you have slot for them because there are better cards for DPS in luck. Born Survivor is also worth to mention. Save me very often, and I use it for myself all the time. But it can burn your steams quickly, so just be careful. For the Earl himself, it's quite tricky though. For power armor users, there shouldn't be a problem, I think. Especially if you have blocker rank 3, you can hold yourself from his storm attack. And if you still die, you can put emergency protocol on your power armor torso. But if you don't use power armor, I found that uh, at least minimum 80 HP and dodgy rank 3, he cannot one shot you anymore with the storm attack. Just be careful sometimes he, he does the storm attack and the speed attack like in the same time. So I suggest the same, just keep moving. And then the second problem is there's no one spec for DPS in the team. I think one of the huge problem is there is lack of armor penetration. I think some people just underestimated it, but I don't blame them though because the calculation in this game is uh, unreasonably complex. It's just too complex for this game. And the game doesn't even tell you how it works. But I think that one is also a product of this game for being too easy for the most part. So most people feel strong enough already. So they ended up using a trap weapon. Two of the most common trap weapons are first lever action rifle and the second one is 50 cal. They feel good. They can kill enemies fast. So the user feels satisfied with it until they encounter a Williams. Or, you can also getting trapped with some legendary effect like Vampire. Sure, the user is invincible, but it provides zero damage, zero armor penetration. I'm not saying you cannot kill her, even solo, with the Vampire weapon, but it will end up you are using like a lot of repair kits and a lot of ammo. And also imagine using a Vampire weapon. With a bad build, like there's no damage perks at all. Ugh. And sometimes people can also be trapped with a bad combination. Let's say heavy gunners without power armor. For people who's like very experienced with it and know what they're doing, there shouldn't be a problem. There are many ways to reduce enemies armor, like anti-armor legendary for example. Okay, I think that's enough of pointing out people's mistakes. Sure, there's still more mistakes here and there, but I'm not trying to gatekeeping how you're supposed to play this game, but I will show you how I usually test my build, validate my build, if it's viable or not. And no, it's not about a build that can kill Earl so fast. Instead, 
every build that I make should be able to kill my queen level 100 quick enough. If it takes me like 20 seconds, I wouldn't call that a DPS build. So what I'm trying to say that I wouldn't say every build that cannot kill my queen fast is a bad build because it could be tank build, support build for example. But for a DPS build, you need to be able to kill my queen fast. So there are a few Milo Queen places that I usually go to to test. That is Highland Mars up here. And then there's one in Max Farm. And the next one is in Quarry. And next one is in Cranberry Glade. And the final one is in Sunrise Field. Oops, I'm being attacked. Sure there are more probably, but maybe I missed, but I think that's enough. Ouch! God damn it! Okay, so this time I will show you the difference between viable build and non viable build in my version. Check this out. This clip right here shows you how bad lever action rifle is compared to another weapon. Even with a full health combat shotgun, this shotgun is still better than this. It's barely touching like almost 20 seconds to kill Mario Queen, so I would say it's still viable, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now let's check out these non viable builds. So with this kind of build, yes, you can safely kill Myrtle Queen just fine, but I'm not sure if you have time to kill her in the span of 30 minutes. I mean just 20 minutes because the 5 minutes is the waiting time. Is it a bad build for the game? Uh, it can finish the game like 99% of the content. Just like I said before, games is easy, like for the most part. But when it comes to boss fight, it's another level. So what happened is that I won't tell you that I started as the bloody rifleman. It's my build since maybe I level 50 or something when I first got my bloody lever action, and it served me well for the most, like the main story. And sometimes I join boss fight with another players too, and I and we did it just fine. And one time I joined Earl with only two of us. One of us is Heavy Gunners, I'm not sure whatever build he was using. And I'm using the lever action, bloodied with the. Uh, what is that? The Chinese style suit, so I can sneak all the time. And it was even before one way slam, so everything was multiplicative. And we failed the freaking a colossal problem back then. And that moment that changed me. It realizes me that I need to make a build that I can solo Earl so it won't happen again to me. In this clip, I was using Vampire Explosive with Pickup. And I think this weapon is very popular. And as you can see, uh, I cannot die. And I can kill my Rook Queen. But with that kind of DPS, it probably will took like 
10,050 calibers to kill Earl. Or maybe I don't even have enough time. I'm not sure, I haven't tried that. And this clip is happened after the explosive fix and it way worse before. That's it for today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.